guys, how's it going? Cody here with Thistledowns Farm and I'm really excited to be bringing you the very first local business spotlight where we want to highlight local businesses, owners that are living their passions through their business and contributing positively to the community. All right, so I'd like to introduce my good friend and future brother-in-law, oh, sure. Ozzy Mike Osner, the owner, artist, and operator of Ozzy's Glass Gallery. Thanks for letting me come in and getting in your way a little bit today. Thanks for coming down and wanting to do this. Awesome. So a few questions for you. First, um, how long has the gallery been open? Just over three years. Nice, nice. And uh, where were you before this? My garage. My <laughs> garage. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. So I worked in my garage for fi almost 15 years before this. Oh, wow. Yeah. So the gallery is kind of a new thing for you. Big time. Definitely an upgrade? Big time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the gallery has been my dream for like 15 years. How long have you been glass blown? 22 years. Oh, wow. Was there something specific that pushed you in uh, that direction or? Totally random. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. I stopped at a glass blowing studio and I got a chance to help someone out. His apprentice never showed up. He asked me if I wanted to help him. My parents let me and uh, that was my first try at glass blowing. And the rest is history. Yeah. As they say. More nice. or less. <laughs> Typically when I think about glass blowing, I think of the big furnaces, the huge kilns. I don't see a furnace here. so. Tell me about your style of glass blowing. So I work on a 5,000 degree torch that's fueled with propane and oxygen. I work with one of the strongest and hardest forms of glass on the planet, so I need a much higher heat base. This glass is molten hot at 3,000 degrees, where the stuff out of the furnace is usually molten hot at like 2,100 degrees. Okay. So this gives me a quick, efficient way of getting the glass up to temperature. I use this as my kiln, so this sits around like 1100 degrees. I generally work smaller scale, but I can do more detail-oriented work. So where do you get your inspiration for some of your pieces? Becky. Becky, yeah. <laughs> Becky, you want to be on camera, no. Becky? Becky's no. the true master. She is, yeah. Whole thing. I always right. say, Becky's the artist, though, just the glass, <laughs> yeah. the glass blower. But, uh, I don't know. You know, you have like millions of ideas and it's just seeing yeah. what you have time for or what's possible or yeah. at the end of the day make what I want to make and thankfully people seem to like it. So what do you have in the works for the future and your goals for the gallery? So right now we're working on a website. I'm usually here like 11, 12 hours a day. I don't really answer the phone while I'm here. So I want people to find out about the business, what I do without me having to step away from work to tell them all that. I do hope to sell limited items on the site as long as I think I can handle it. And I do a lot of memorial work for people where if a loved one passes away, I can incorporate their ashes into the glass. Oh, and that's awesome. So we're going to start a website specifically for that. We get a lot of requests for that type of work. What's that going to be called? It is going to be called Mila's Memorials. Nice, nice. Yeah, Mila was our 14 and a half year old black lab who just recently passed. She was at the gallery every day. She greeted people as they walked in the door. And, I mean, people truly came in to see the dog. And then yeah. I was like second. And I was like, <laughs> okay with that. You know, yes. I had a home studio before this and we were together every day of her life. So it was just natural that she came here with me when I opened this place. And nice. And uh, becomes a, a permanent part of the business. Exactly. I see you have a ton of different artwork here. What are some of your favorite pieces to create? I don't know, maybe some of my favorite things are seahorses, fish. I saw you have a lot of cardinals over there. You like doing the cardinals? I do, yeah. Cardinals they look and awesome. hummingbirds. Birds, seahorses, pumpkins. Those are some of my favorite things to do. And speaking of pumpkins, you're yep. going to give us a little demonstration today, right? I am. Awesome. Yes. Well, I'm going to get set up and we're going to get to work on making a pumpkin. All right. It's going to be <laughs> epic. <laughs> Thank you. 
this is actually going to be bright orange with black speckling. The colors are always dark and muted when it's hot. And the handle is still on here. I'm letting the whole thing heat up before I take the handle off. And that will be the next step that I do. I'll take the handle off, clean up the bottom, and then this goes back in the kiln for the rest of the day. And then overnight will take 16 to 20 hours to cool down. That takes all the stress out of the glass, stabilizes the molecules, and really allows the glass to have its strength. Can't really tell it's hot, but from like here up, really hot. And you will get to see what the finished piece looks like tomorrow when I mail this to Cody. <laughs> all right. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to the very first local business spotlight. Happy to be here in the Berkshires at Ozzy's Glass Gallery. Make sure if you're ever in the area, you stop, you take a look. If you're not planning on coming to the area, you should. If you're ever in Western Massachusetts, Ozzy's Glass Gallery. It's one of the top destinations on TripAdvisor. He's doing live glass blowing all the time. Come in, throw some goggles on, watch him at work. He'll explain everything he's doing to you. You can catch him on Facebook, Instagram. He's all over the place. I know, I was looking for that stupid thing. Yeah, yeah. Mom. Mom. <laughs> oh, she ruined it. <laughs> so uh, if people want to follow you, where can, they, where can they find you and follow you? They can find me on Facebook. I am on Instagram as well, trying to do a little better at you know, posting more and being more active with that. But I have a Facebook business page that I really post a few times a week showing my new and favorite pieces. And uh, then hopefully in the next week or two, my website will be up. Nice. And that's Ozzy's Glass Gallery? Uh, it'll be ozzysglass.com and ozzysglassgallery.com. They'll both go to the same thing. Oh, nice. And then Facebook is Ozzy's Glass Gallery All right. Facebook. Cool. Cool. All right. Make sure to check them out. Take care.